Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda. Today we're gonna draw some inspiration from Fluttershy's garden and make a custom monarch butterfly pony. So let's get started. To make this custom, I'm going to be using Lily Blossom and she is actually a watermark cutie pony. Let me get her out of her package. She comes with a cute little barrette, a little flower barrette for her hair. And I'm not gonna be using this, but I'll save it. Maybe I can use it on another custom and a hairbrush. And so she's called a water cutie because her wings actually have water in them with glitter. It's really neat, really cool. And the reason that I chose Lily Blossom for this custom was because of her wings. They're huge. They're probably about two to three times bigger than the normal G4 ponies I typically customize. And I wanted this monarch butterfly to have big, dramatic, beautiful wings. And if you play the My Little Pony phone game, you can scan this heart here and unlock Lily Blossom in your game. To get started, I need to remove her head. To do that, I'm twisting the head to the side until it pops out like that. And now I need to remove her hair because she will be getting brand new hair. I'm taking some large scissors and cutting off all the hair as close to the root as I possibly can get with these large scissors. And then I'm gonna go in with some teeny tiny scissors and cut the hair even shorter. And she'll look like this, but we still have to get the hair out from the inside of the head, the actual root. To do that, you have to remove the neck plug. I tried taking it out by pulling it with pliers and that didn't work. So I'm taking an X-Acto knife and making tons of teeny tiny cuts all around the neck plug until I can pull it out just like this. Once the neck plug is out, go in with some pliers or tweezers and pull out all the hair directly from the inside of the head until she's bald like this and I apologize but that clip just didn't record. Next is time to remove the hair from the tail. I'm just taking some scissors and I'm cutting off all of the tail, the entire tail and this little nub that remained. I don't want any hair to be At showing. All. I don't normally do the tails like this but since the neck plug here is not removable I'm gonna have to put the tail in using a different method. Let's get started with the customization. I'm going to be using Sally Hansen nail polish in black heart and I'm going to completely cover Lily Blossom's head, but I'm not going to cover the eyes. I'm going to save those. And I love this black nail polish because it is such an amazing formulation. You only need one coat of paint to get a fully opaque black color. So with one coat of that nail polish, that's all you need. Put that to the side and let it dry completely. I'm gonna be using that same nail polish and painting her entire body, but just the body, not the wings. And I'll be putting a link to all of the items used in this video in the description box below. And I didn't remove the cutie mark since this nail polish is so dark, it covers it without a problem. And here's the body completely covered. I even got the hooves. I'm gonna put that to the side, let it dry, and work on the head. Now that the black base is completely dry, I'm gonna go over it with the second nail polish by China Glaze called Black Diamond. And this nail polish is a thin gray black color with micro fine glitters in it. A monarch butterfly's body is black, but I didn't wanna make this custom just solid black. I thought that would be kind of boring. So I'm going to add this shimmer top coat to it just to give it, you know, a little shine and I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it looks really good. I'm gonna go in with that same top coat nail polish and just cover the body as well. And if you don't like using nail polish for your customs, you could always recreate this using acrylic paints. And once you have this completely covered, let it dry completely, and then it's time to work on the spots that are on the Monarch Butterfly's body. And to put the spots in, I'm going to be using this dotting tool. It's basically just two spheres on each end of the stick. You dip the tip of the sphere into some nail polish or acrylic paint, just the tip, and then you press down 
wherever you want to put your spot and just like that you have a perfect circle I'm using the thicker sphere here and I'm just going to go in and put spots at the bottom of every single leg just like this and that looks super awesome and now I'm flipping my tool over and using the smaller end and I'm going to be putting smaller spots towards the top of the leg so it creates kind of like a gradient effect the small dots become bigger dots I hope that makes sense and I'm just gonna repeat this process all over all four legs and this looks so cool just like that and so the body's done it's time to work on the head I've decided to give Lily Blossom a headband of spots. I thought that that would look really pretty. I'm going in with the thicker side of the dotting tool and I'm just putting one dot right in the middle of where her forehead is. And then I'm gonna just put a row of dots going back to both ears. So I'm using the bigger end here. So I'm just putting dots, one on the top, one on the bottom to kind of create that headband shape there and then I'm going to repeat that on the other side going back to the other ear and then I'm going to turn the tool over and using the smaller end of that dotting tool I'm just going to put thinner dots in between the thicker ones and that really gives it the appearance of a headband or a stripe of these cute little spots all along her forehead and now it's time to work on her eyes. Lily Blossom has purple eyes, but I think that a bright green would really look good and really pop against the black, white, and orange of the Monarch Butterfly. So using some acrylic paint and a really thin paintbrush, I'm gonna go in and put two coats of paint to make the eyes a gorgeous green color. And now I'm going in with some black paint and I'm going to fill in her eyelashes. And I've also gone in with some white acrylic paint and cleaned up the white parts of her eyes. Put the head to the side and let it dry. It's time to work on the wings. I'm going to be using Sally Hansen Sunkissed, which is a bright orange nail polish. And I'm going to be completely covering the wings with this orange. I'm not sure how many coats this is going to take because right now the wings are clear, they're see-through, and I want to make them fully opaque, meaning that I don't want them to be see-through at all. And here's the first coat. It looks really good, but there's still some spots where I can see through it, so I'm gonna let that dry and then go over the wings with one more coat of paint. And this second coat is really doing the job. It is completely opaque in two coats. These wings look awesome. This orange color is fabulous. And now I'm gonna go over the wings with a holographic top coat by Literary Lacquer called More Like Fire Than Light. And this is, oh my gosh, the most gorgeous shade of holographic orange ever. And butterfly wings, they're so delicate, they're sparkly, they're amazing and this top coat is going to recreate that look for the custom so i'm just going to go over the orange polish with one layer of this holographic top coat and let that completely dry for the wing details i'm going to be using a nail art pen which is nail polish in the form of a pen it looks a lot like a sharpie marker and it's really easy to use since monarch butterflies have black tipped wings i'm going to use my nail pen and outline the edges of the wings on the inside and the outside once the nail polish has completely dried i'm going to go in with the same sally hansen black heart polish and i'm going to fill in between both lines to give the wings the black tipped effect like a monarch butterfly and you'll have to be really careful when you're going over this part so that way you don't go over the edges well, once that's fully dry I'm taking my nail art pen and I'm gonna draw in the veins on the wings I'm just dragging my pen through the lines and the indentations on the wings that are already there 
so you can see the indentations on the wings and I'm just dragging my pen through those indentations and really giving it that effect of a butterfly wing. And I let that dry completely and I went over it with the second coat. So it's two layers of black there. And these wings look fabulous. And the last thing to do are more spots. So monarch butterflies have spots in all the black portions of their wings. So using my same dotting tool, the same method of little dots and big dots, I'm just gonna go in and put those spots in all over both wings and let it dry completely. I wasn't sure what the cutie mark should be for this custom, so I'm not gonna put one, but let me know down in the comments below what you think it should be, and I'll put it on later. I was thinking maybe a butterfly or a flower, maybe the sun, but I'm not sure. Let me know what you think down below. Once you have the body completely done, you're gonna to wanna to cover the body and the head with the clear top coat to seal in all of your work and let that top coat dry. For the hair, I've decided on white hair with black highlights. So I'm going to be using Virgin Snow and Black Magic from dollyhair.com. I'm going to cut the hair to length. This is one full strand of hair, I believe it's 36 inches, and I have it folded in half. I'm going to cut that half in half, and then I'm going to fold it over on itself one more time, like this and then cut it again. So I'm gonna end up with strands of hair that are one quarter of the original length, and that's the perfect length for rehairing these smaller ponies. There we go. To rehair, I'm gonna be using my rehairing tool. It's basically a pronged needle. So you're gonna grab a small a little plug of hair like this, and then catch all that hair at the end of the tool like that and since it's sharp you just pick which hole you want to put the hair in and you press in like this and boom just like that the first plug of hair is in and you can see on the inside where some of that hair gets caught I'm just gonna keep taking some plugs of black hair to give her those highlights randomly throughout her head and she looks a little crazy now but we're gonna go in and fill in all of the bare spots with white hair. So white hair with a black highlights. I thought that would look really good against the black body and the gorgeous orange wings. Once all the hair's in, you have to secure it or it will fall out if you pull on it. I'm using some no-sew glue and I'm just pouring it directly into the head and then using a Q-tip to distribute the glue evenly. Now it's time to work on the tail. I have a small bunch of hair that I'm gonna twist tie together very, very, very tightly because I'm gonna be pushing this twist tie directly into the hole for the tail. And so it needs to be really, really tight like that. I measured the hair against the hole and it was too thick. So I've gone ahead and removed all of the black hair and I've also cut the tip off of the twist tie. I've squeezed some Gorilla Glue directly into that hole there and now I'm going to push the twist tie into the hole. And like I said earlier, I don't typically rehair the tails this way, but the neck plug was not removable and this is the only way I could get a new tail in. And the Gorilla Glue does a really good job of securing all that hair. Now it's time to connect the head and the body together using some Gorilla Glue. And here's the finished product, the custom Monarch Butterfly Pony. She came out so pretty. The wings really shine in the light with that holographic top coat. Let me know down in the comments below what you think her name and cutie mark should be. I hope you enjoyed this custom little pandas. I know that yours will come out just as awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.
you can find me online. For the latest news and updates for the channel, you can follow me on Instagram, Manda Panda Toy Collector, like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Manda Panda Toy Collector, or you can add me on Snapchat, Manda Panda TC. Want to mail something? You can send it to Amanda Panda PO Box 65105 San Antonio, Texas 78265.